The race for the thinnest foldable phone is heating up, but here's the real kicker. Samsung might just take the crown with the upcoming Galaxy Z Fold 7. How thin is this thing, you ask? Well, rumors suggest it could be as slim as 8.2 mm when folded. Yep, that's 4 mm thinner than the Galaxy Z Fold 6. And believe it or not, slimmer than the Oppo Find N5, which currently holds the title of the world's thinnest foldable. But does this mean Samsung has cracked the code, or are we getting ahead of ourselves? Stick around because we're about to dive into what might make the Fold 7 the game changer we've been waiting for. Welcome back everyone, Sam here, and before we jump in, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more cutting-edge tech updates. Now, let's get back to the Fold 7. If you're wondering how in the world Samsung's pulling this off, you're not alone. A slimmer fold means less bulk in your pocket, but that doesn't just happen overnight. Let's break it down. The Z Fold 7 could take on a 200-megapixel camera, an 8-inch main display, and a much more durable folding mechanism, which is a huge step up from previous models. Oh, and did I mention the Snapdragon 8 Elite chip? It's the powerhouse we've been hoping for, making multitasking and gaming smoother than ever. Now, it's not all about thickness. We're also hearing that Samsung's under-display camera is getting a major upgrade for clearer selfies, and the foldable screen could reduce the dreaded crease. Plus, there's some buzz about a new flexible glass tech that not only makes the phone thinner but also reduces the crease. Yeah, that's a big deal for those of us who can't stand the annoying line running down the middle. And just when you thought it couldn't get any better, Samsung might be launching the Z Fold 7 with a One UI 8 update, bringing in exclusive tweaks to enhance the foldable experience even more. But here's where it gets interesting. Earlier leaks suggested the Fold 7 would come in at around 9 mm thick when folded. So is that 8.2 mm rumor a stretch, or is Samsung onto something even bigger? You can see how this gets exciting for hardware enthusiasts, right? The real question is, how thin can they go before they hit the limits of physical design? We know the Oppo Find N5 is crazy thin at 4.1 mm unfolded, but how much thinner can phones actually get before battery life, durability, and performance take a hit? All right, let's talk about the build. Samsung is reportedly focusing on durability like never before. The new Z Fold 7 could come with improved water and dust resistance, which is a must if you're dropping a hefty price tag on a foldable phone. And speaking of prices, Samsung is rumored to be keeping the cost in check despite all these high-end improvements. That's a relief for consumers, right? But here's the catch. It might still use a 4400 mma battery, which seems a bit small considering all the tech packed inside. It's not a deal breaker, but let's hope the battery optimization lives up to the hype. And if you're a fan of multitasking, the Z Fold 7 is expected to take it up a notch with better AI tools and performance enhancements. Samsung isn't just improving the hardware. The software is getting a serious boost too. Whether you're gaming or working, you'll get a seamless experience that feels smooth and fast. But will it be enough to keep up with the competition, especially when other brands are pushing their foldable designs to new extremes? Samsung isn't stopping with foldables either. Rumors are flying that the Galaxy S25 Ultra will also follow this ultra-thin trend, possibly measuring just 5.8 mm. That's just crazy to think about, right? And with top-tier specs like a 200 MP camera, Snapdragon 8 Elite, and a sleek design, this could be one of the most impressive phones of 2025. The big question here is whether Samsung is finally ready to dethrone the Oppo Find N5 as the thinnest foldable, or will we see another iteration that gets even closer to the perfect balance of slimness, power, and performance? And don't even get me started on the S Pen. Samsung's taking it up a notch with new features, though you won't be able to slot it into the phone. But hey, we've got a whole other video for that. I'm curious though, what do you think about these ultra-thin foldables? Is this the future of smartphones or are we just getting too carried away with thinness at the cost of battery life and durability? Drop your thoughts in the comments. I'd love to hear what you think. That's all for now, but stay tuned because I've got more updates on Samsung's foldable and their plans for 2025. Catch you in the next one.